Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Rochelle and today I will be sharing with you just some skincare routine and skincare products as well as machines. So I will be demonstrating how I do my facials here at home just because with quarantine and us being on lockdown and unable to go see your esthetician or someone to do your facials, it is best to really take care of your skin at home, especially when you're wearing a mask all day if you're at work. Um, I will also be doing a little facial walkthrough, so let's go. So first things first, you wanna make sure you steam your face. So the steam will help open up your pores. So if you do need to do some extractions, it's the best way to do so. I also like to recommend if you do not have a steamer, that if you are planning on extracting, make sure you are doing it maybe after a shower or you can even use like hot water into your sink and cover a towel over your head so that the steam is running through your face. So this one, I had purchased it from Amazon um, in the beginning of quarantine and it's fairly lightweight, it's super cute and compact, but there's definitely a lot more um, on Amazon or online. Uh, I always like to do my research and read the reviews and see what other people think of each product. So this one right here, it is Zen P, I'm not really sure, but I'm sure if you just type in facial steamer, on Amazon or on Google, you will be able to pull one up. So my steamer is going off right now. Um, you don't want to put your face so close to the steamer. So you want to make sure you give yourself about a 12, 12 inches away from the steamer so that it's not burning your face. Especially if you are sensitive, you want to make sure you don't want to overdo it. So I would say like 10 minutes of the steaming will give you enough time to really open up your pores. I love steam, so I like to kind of keep it going as I'm doing my microdermabrasion on myself. So as my face is steaming, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you just a few cleansers and exfoliants that um, you wanna use to clean your face. Or, of course, you can always um, go to Sephora or anywhere and really look into the reviews <laughs> and see what will work best for your skin type. And just to kind of give you guys a a little info on my skin. I am obviously prone to breakouts. Uh, my main concern is large pores and um, I do have combination skin. I would say I'm more on the oily side, but I tend to have some dry spots on some areas. The first one is the Code of Harmony. This one, I love this brand because it is, they do use CBD. This one's an oil cleanser, but also works as your makeup remover. Another makeup cleanser or um, remover that I love is by Pharmacy, and it's called Green Clean. And this one, it's Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So what you'll do is it comes with a little spatula. You grab a little bit of product, and then you'll warm it up onto your hands and then break down the makeup onto your face. I always like to use a cloth, and this one's also from Amazon or Makeup Eraser is another great one. That's actually what I started with, um, but I use that to kind of just wipe my face with the product, or wipe off my face from the product. Just another few cleansers. Uh, we have the Kate Somerville here. This is the Eradicate Foaming Cleanser, and this is amazing because uh, it's great for clients who do have more of acne-prone skin type, um, and it does have a little bit of sulfur in there, so it really dries it out for you. Uh, I always like to create a balance with my skincare routine. I don't want to over-dry it with using products with salicylic, benzoyl, glycolic. You wanna make sure you're balancing it out. You wanna use a gentle cleanser as well, which is Corez. This one's a yogurt one. I love this for more sense, for more of like the sensitive skin types. Um, at one point I was breaking out so bad that I just kind of completely stopped using everything and I only stuck with this and this is amazing. Other brands too would be Lush. Lush, uh, I use Herbalism or Let the Good Times Roll. These have more of like that physical type exfoliant, so it has some texture to it, so it'll help to kind of break down any dirt or debris on the surface of the skin. So that's another cleanser that I would like. Herbalism's great too for someone who has a more of an acne prone skin, whereas the Let the Good Times Roll, it creates more of like this beautiful dewy skin. And you'll like feel your skin and it feels very, very smooth. So those are our cleansers. 
let's move on. I'm going to use the Code of Harmony just because I've pretty much exfoliated my skin today. And as I mentioned, um, it is activated by water. So initially, like you want to use a few pumps on your, the palm of your hand, warm it up, and apply it all over the face. Make sure you give yourself a little bit of a massage because this is what helps stimulate your skin. So I added a little bit of water, so it kind of creates a little bit more of a fluid finish, I guess. <laughs> it just gives it more like a milky finish to really cleanse the skin. Don't forget your neck. And I am wearing a shirt that I can't really get through my decollete, but really wash your face. And sometimes I'll even go like right over here because I do get breakouts in this area, especially with the mask. Make sure you get this. I'm gonna take my little black makeup eraser. Go ahead and wash or take that cleanser off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use an exfoliant slash mask. This one is from Summer Friday. Um, this is a pumpkin mask. So, I love it. It's called Overtime, too. There's three different masks from Summer Fridays, and I do have this pumpkin one, which also helps with exfoliating the skin, and this one is the rose one. Another one is the Jet Lag. Jet Lag's great. Uh, well, Jet Lag and this rose one actually helps with hydration and giving it more of that nice, dewy finish. And you want to massage it onto the skin for about a minute or two. Really work it in there. And if you are wearing a different shirt or have a robe on, it's best to kind of do it from your neck down to the decollete. I always like to massage right here where my 11s are. This was one of my biggest concerns as well, and I'm trying to avoid getting Botox, but make sure you massage all those wrinkles out. So with the Summer Friday uh, pumpkin mask, you actually want to leave it on your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes. You may feel a little bit of a tingling sensation, which is normal, just as long as it's not irritating your skin. If ever you feel any type of irritation or heavily stinging or any of that, and just uncomfortable, make sure you remove it as you're probably allergic to the product. So let's move on. So now we're gonna go ahead and use my microdermabrasion machine. But before I do that, I do want to show you this particular one that I got. It is called Oculus and also from Amazon, but it also comes with a vacuum type apparatus. So you're just gonna plug it on there. It's USB, turn it on. It has three speeds. If you are sensitive, make sure you try it onto the back of your hand first. Just to get an idea of how far you wanna go with the speed. I usually like to do the third one, so you can start off with the first speed um, first and then work your way up. Now when you are doing the vacuum, make sure you're holding your skin taut outwards. Always upwards and out. Be very, very gentle and be very careful um, with your skin because if you do not hold it taut, there is a chance of you bruising your skin, especially if you are very sensitive. So make sure you try it in an area, maybe down right here where your jaw, jaw is, or even right above here. And you don't want to go directly beneath the eye. I like to use this right in my nose, so make sure you hold it the opposite way. And that is your vacuum. I'm gonna hold that to the side and make sure I clean it later with alcohol or wash it down with soap and water. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the microdermabrasion apparatus here. Same thing, you're gonna kinda just push it in and there you go. 
This particular set did come with one, two, three, four, five, six, six um, heads. And there are some that are smaller so you can get into the crevice. Um, there are some that's much larger so that, you know, if you're trying to exfoliate maybe your arms or your back, you can use the bigger um, tool, which looks like this. And then we have a small one as well. And then if you even go into the fourth setting, you'll see that there is a blue light and that you, you'll you use the um, LED type lighting with it, or blue light, sorry, blue light therapy lighting with it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the microdermabrasion. I'm gonna do third speed. So I'm a huge fan of microdermabrasion. I love microdermabrasion because it does get rid of sun damage, skin pigmentation, uh, opens up the pores so that it, it allows you to extract um, more properly when you do plan on extracting. But you also want to be careful not to overdo it. So if you are doing this at home, you want to do it about once a week. Um, you, If you do have sensitive skin, I would avoid doing it so often, maybe using it less as in like every other week if possible. Um, you'll notice that it is kind of sandpapery type texture, so it can be a little sensitive for some, but because I've been doing this for so long uh, with my esthetician, my skin is just so used to it, and I just love it because it gets rid of all my scarring. All right, guys. So I have this little sheet that came with my high frequency machine. Um, some come with it or you can order it separately, but high frequency. So high frequency, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of this, but I won't get too technical, but it's great uh, for healing the skin, especially if you have um, any breakouts when you're going over those areas it really does help heal and work deeper beneath into the skin trying to make sure to like almost dry it out there are two different types of electrodes which is one is like more of an orange tone <laughs> which is great for um anti-aging and it does um also help with acne skin but there's also the violet uh color as well, which is the one that I have because again, I am more concerned about my breakouts and my acne. It really circulates and stimulates the skin as well. And with this machine, same thing, got it from Amazon a long time ago. I'm not sure if it even exists online, but you can just look at high frequency facial apparatus. You wanna really be careful using this. I will give you a warning. You know, I am an esthetician, so I kind of know how to use not kind of, but yes, I know how to use it. So there are some contraindications. So if you are pregnant, you have high blood pressure, the list goes on, make sure you are not falling into that category because you should probably not use it. So I'm gonna start very little. And how you wanna do it too is use your finger before putting on your face and then let go. And then I kind of just freely do it all over and then I have a break out here and on my neck so I'll usually kind of like slightly tap it a little bit work it in there kill all that bacteria beneath that skin now you don't want to do this for too long and you also do not want to do this too often on the week I would say once a week I don't even do it that much I maybe do the my facials at home once a month maybe twice a month um, I don't overdo it just because you don't want to cause sensitivity. You'll notice too, like after you give yourself facials or if you've ever had facials in the past, you will notice that your skin can be a little bit more sensitive and you can feel a little bit of like tingling motion when you're applying your products. That just means you're probably extremely sensitive. So I would not do it too often. Um, you also might, experience some breakouts after you do your facials and it's basically what it's hap what's happening is your skin is purging meaning because you're giving yourself the facial you're you know using all your microdermabrasion apparatus and your high frequency everything is kind of pushing it out of your skin so don't be aware like don't be like scared 
this will happen. You will get a breakout here or there. Um, it's totally normal. And just a fair warning, you wanna take off your facial piercing before you do your high frequency. I'm really bad. So the next steps would be doing a mask. So there's definitely a lot of masks available out there in the market. So just depending on what your concerns are, if you're trying to hydrate and bring back more moisture into the skin, moisturizing or anti-aging sheet masks are great. There's also some, like as I mentioned before, which is the Summer Friday, this one's the Rose one. There's also the Jet Lag, which is great for bringing back hydration and you can even sleep with the Jet Lag one. Face sheets are great. These are great for hydrating. If you are more concerned about uh, pores or breakout, charcoal masks are great as well. Um, even putting on like a little bit of, you know, the drying lotion on breakouts at night. The Mario Badescu is my absolute favorite. Another one would be Kate Somerville, but these have sulfur in them. Um, so they're great for breakouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Summer Friday for myself. I'm gonna leave this on all over for about 10 minutes and I love this and I actually keep it for longer than 10 minutes I usually like run not run but oh, kind of like paint my toenails while this is on for about 10 20 15 30 minutes sometimes and I just use my black facial cloth to remove the excess and my skin just feels super smooth and hydrated Okay, so I removed my mask and I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin now for nighttime, I suppose, or daytime. Um, so I have the set which comes with the facial sheet or sheet mask and the facial treatment essence from SK2 as well as the lotion. This is a great deal at Sephora. It's actually a hundred for the set or you can get just this for a hundred so my, might as well just get the set um but you basically want to prep your skin with the the lotion first and really working it and patting it onto your skin to really stimulate the skin um and then you'll put the facial essence another alternative if you are not willing to spend as much my favorite right here is aquel 5.5 licorice pH balancing cleansing toner um as i mentioned my skin concern would be my pores, which is why I do the microdermabrasion, and this also as well is great for that. So what you'll do is you'll just kind of put a little bit on the hand, warm it up, pat it onto the skin, and I kind of like to tap around so it again stimulates. Once I've applied that, then I'm gonna go ahead and put a serum, depending on what serum you like. This is my holy grail right now. I have been waiting to purchase it because I couldn't find myself spending so much money on a product that I wasn't sure of, but I have heard so many good things about it. This is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. Um, so basically it has 15% L-ascorbic acid, 1% alpha tocopherulic, and 0.5 ferulic acid. I love this. It's really helped in my pores, it's helped with anti-aging, and even like my dark spots, or should I say my scarring from me picking, it has helped it lighten up. I'm obsessed with it. I know it's very expensive, but I, I haven't really gone through it, and it, there's still quite a few left in there, and I've only had this for maybe four months now. Amazing. So I'm about to share with you something that most of you probably already know, which is the Mount Lai. Wasa tool. Um, this one's a jade. There's also the rose quartz, but this is amazing. It's great. Um, it's a great tool to have when you're doing your facials or even on a daily to increase blood flow. Um, it helps the circulation and even helps with the lymph, lymph nodes right on the jawline here. And you want to work from the center of the face going out. And as you get to the forehead, same thing, center out into the hairline. This really helps with um, fine lines and pores as well. Most of the time you wanna use like a serum or some type of oil to really stimulate. 
So another tool I wanted to share with you aside from the guasa is the ice cubes. So you can use a regular ice cube. This one I um, purchased on Amazon. Um, but it is a metal type ice cube. Or my esthetician actually was the one that recommended it. And she surprised me one day all of a sudden. She's like, this is going to be a little bit cold, but it's going to help with stimulating your skin and the blood flow. But it's a little bit cooler. Um, if you notice, warm water and steam will open up your pores and cold water will obviously close out the pores. So now let's go ahead and use our products. So after I prepped all my skin, I used a serum, all that good stuff I've already put on my serum. You're going to use a little bit of moisturizer depending on daytime, nighttime. Um, you want to obviously use something daytime more lightweight if you are oily or if you are on the dehydrated or dry side you want to use something a little bit heavier this one is the skin suitables daily moisture and i love this because it does help with uh minimizing my pores it's very lightweight i'm absolutely obsessed with it and i love it with my serum another product that you can use is lush um i love this imperialist imperialist um, it's great for someone who has really sensitive skin. I typically use this more for nighttime and then I'll use my skin SkinCeuticals for daytime. Uh, but I love it because it is a little bit heavier and it really hydrates my skin and it works for sensitive skin types. And this one is the Glowberry, which is a glistening skin oil. So you can also use this um, prior to applying your makeup to give you more of that beautiful radiant glow. Just a couple more things that I don't want to forget. You already know, SPF. There are a lot of SPFs out in the market. This one is the AHC, and it has a 50 plus SPF PA plus 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 plus. There's definitely Supergoop. There is also um, Kula, which is this one right here. This is more of a makeup setting spray and it is a sunscreen and it has 30 SPF in it. Um, Kula is great. I've heard so many good things about Kula. I've heard good things about Super Goop. I do love my Korean one, but there's definitely a lot on the market that you can kind of choose and see which one works best for you. I don't like to smell it. I don't like to feel it. I like my sunscreens to feel very lightweight. So this is why I prefer my AHC one. Um, I have not personally tried Super Goop, but I have used the cool uh, makeup setting spray with the SPF in it, which you already want to make sure you're reapplying your sunscreen anyways, which is why I got this particular one. Because um, as you know, after a few hours, you're sunscreen isn't effective anymore, so you want to actually keep reapplying it as you go. So if you are uh, going to be out and about and you're planning on staying out in the sun for quite some time, I would suggest uh, after you applying your physical sunscreen um, to maybe using something that's like a spray or a powder touch-up uh, sunscreen as well for throughout the day. And then lastly, Making sure you prep your lips. Nighttime, I have the Laneige. I also have the one that's in the tube, which I absolutely like. I love this, and if you like a little bit of like that scented flavor type sleeping mask, this one smells amazing. And then this one was gifted to me, but I love it because it has like these little specks of shimmer in it, and it gives a beautiful soft tint on my lip. And this is the Lip Lux Essential Lip Care. So that's about it. That's going to wrap it up. Um, thank you so much. I know that might be a little much and overwhelming uh, learning about what I do with my skincare uh, routine as well as like the machines that I've been using. But I really wanted to share with you just a few of my favorite products and what I do at home, especially during this quarantine when we're unable to see our estheticians. It's very important to take care of your skin as you're wearing your mask. And also, I hope to see you guys soon. Be safe, take care, and...